Welcome to the Atomic Email Studio Quick Tour. I'm going to show you some of the features of Atomic Email Studio, including collecting email contacts, managing mailing lists, sending out email newsletters, and tracking email open rates. The first thing I'll do, I've created a project here that I call Video Demo, and I double clicked on that, and you can see that the first thing to do is to import email addresses. This is a way to get email addresses into your system that you're going to be sending to. And when I click on this, you'll see there's several different ways to get email addresses from the internet, and I'll show you that one. You can import from text files or your Outlook. You can search news groups. You can mine from the Whois database for different IPs and domains. WebSpider looks at the cache files of your internet browsers. And then there's a subscription manager. And for this, I'm going to show you get addresses from the internet. I'm going to click on that. And let's say I have a Shih Tzu forum here that I want to get all the email addresses it can find in there. Pasting the address in here, I just click the Start, and it starts searching pages. And you can see on the bottom right here how many pages it's looked at out of how many pages on the site. So it starts searching through, finds all the pages that are linked to on that page, and finds the email addresses in there. And there it finishes, and these are the email addresses that it found. So I'm going to click Return to Studio, and it's going to take these email addresses, and it puts them back in here. You can see eight contacts. And one of the things I want to do is find out if those are actually real email addresses anymore. So I'm going to click Verify Email Addresses. Click Verify. And it starts going through each email address looking for if the mailbox exists. And once it's finished, I'm going to click Studio again and now you see three of them have been verified. Now I'm going to click Edit Mail List and I'll show you this. If I say Edit Main List here, it'll show those eight contacts we had there. But if I say Edit Verified List as Main, it'll just look at the three emails that were verified. So I'm going to click that. And now my list has three email addresses in it. I'm going to right click on this. I can click Add Email Address and manually add in email addresses if I want. I can edit the email addresses, delete them. I can load a list from a local file, paste a list from the clipboard, and save list. And I can add columns like name, any kind of column that I want, name, address, if you have any of that information you want to collect. Again, I can also pull in from Outlook, the web, news group, and who is from up here. And so I'm going to go back to project. And now I've got my mail list. And the next thing I want to do is create and send a newsletter. So I'll click on this, and it pulls up the newsletter feature, and it comes up with a blank email that you can then start working on using this WYSIWYG editor. So I'll select this font here, and let's say I want to change it to uh, Verdana, and I want to make it bold. So I can do anything you can do in HTML. You can come down here, you can view HTML source and actually edit the HTML directly. And then whenever you send out an HTML email, you want to have a text alternative in case someone has HTML turned off in their email. And so this has alternative text part and you can leave it as synchronized with HTML part automatically. And it'll pull the text in from the HTML part that you were creating. And preview in browser shows you what it'll look like to that. And one of the things you can do, if you don't want to just do it all from scratch, is I'm going to click on New here and say New Message from Templates. It's going to ask if I want to save what I did, and I'll say No. I'm going to say I want the envelope template. You can see there's a bunch of different designs, or let's say the keyboard template. I'm going to say OK. And it pulls that in here, and now you can start editing this however you want. And it's formatted already for you. So it makes things very easy to come up with an email. Another thing I want to do is go to service and newsletter tracking because I want to track and see if people open this. So I'm going to say newsletter tracking. I need to track my email campaign. I'm going to say OK and I'm going to save this. And now I have my list, I have my email, I can send a test to see how the email is going to look and put in my email address here and it'll just send it to whatever address I put here and I can make sure it's working okay. 
And when I'm done, I can click send or I can click schedule and schedule it to go out in the middle of the night or at a particular time and day. But I'm going to click send and it has the email addresses to send to. And so I'm going to click start and delivering and it actually sends it email delivery completed and then I can say close and it's sent out to the two email addresses that I put in there and then after it's had time for people to open up the emails I can track it and I am going to go to service and newsletter tracking and I can say show collected stats and when I click on that it'll pull up a browser that looks like this and has the open rates here for how many were sent, how many were opened, how many links were clicked. So it has a complete package from getting email addresses in here to managing your email addresses, verifying them, creating your newsletters, and even tracking email open rates. So it's a complete package.